welcome students today we are going to learn how to convert larger units of mass into smaller units so let's start converting larger units of mass into smaller units first of all we are going to discuss the relationship between units of mass 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams and 1 g is equals to 1000 mg now in this question we have to convert 35 kg into grams since 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams we multiply by 1000 to convert kilograms into grams So, in order to convert thirty-five kilogram into gram, we will multiply thirty-five by thousand. After multiplying, we will get thirty-five thousand grams. So, thirty-five kilogram is equal to thirty-five thousand grams. In this question, we have to convert five hundred and seventy-five kilograms into grams. As we know, one kilogram is equal to thousand grams. We multiply by thousand to convert kilograms into grams. We will multiply five hundred and seventy-five by thousand. After multiplying, we will get five hundred and seventy-five thousand grams. So, five hundred and seventy-five kilogram is equal to five hundred and seventy-five thousand grams. In this question, we have to convert six point nine five kilogram into grams. We already know that one kilogram is equal to thousand grams, so we'll multiply six point nine five by thousand to convert into grams. Six point nine five is a decimal number, so in order to multiply a decimal number by thousand, we need to shift its decimal point three places to the right hand side. But after this decimal point, we have only two places, two digits, so we will put one zero by our own. So the answer is six thousand nine hundred and fifty grams. Six point nine five kilogram is equal to six thousand nine hundred and fifty grams. Convert three point one kilogram into gram. We already know that. One kilogram is equal to thousand grams. So we will multiply three point one by thousand. We have to shift its decimal point three places to the right hand side. But after this decimal point, we have only one place or one digit. So we will put two zeros by our own. So the answer is thirty one hundred grams or three thousand one hundred grams. So three point one kilograms is equal to three thousand one hundred grams. Now we are going to convert grams into milligrams. In this question, we have to convert seventy-one grams into milligrams. Since one gram is equal to thousand milligrams, we multiply by thousand to convert grams into milligrams. We will multiply seventy-one by thousand in order to convert grams into milligrams. After multiplying them, we will get. Seventy-one thousand milligrams. So seventy-one grams is equal to seventy-one thousand milligrams. Convert six hundred and thirty-four grams into milligrams. One gram is equal to thousand milligrams. So we'll multiply six hundred and thirty-four by thousand. After multiplying them, we will get. Six hundred and thirty-four thousand milligrams. So six hundred and thirty-four grams is equal to six hundred and thirty-four thousand milligrams. Convert five point three grams into milligrams. We already know that one gram is equal to two thousand milligrams. So in order to convert five point three grams into milligrams, we will multiply five point three by a thousand. In order to multiply any decimal number by thousand, we have to shift its decimal point three places to the right hand side. But after the decimal point, we have only one place, so we'll put two zeros by our own. 
so the answer is 5300 milligrams so 5.3 grams is equals to 5300 milligrams convert 95.26 grams into milligrams we'll multiply 95.26 by 1000 in order to multiply 95.26 by 1000 we have to shift a decimal point three places to the right hand side so after the decimal point we have only two places two digits so we will put one zero by our own so the answer is 95,260 milligrams so 95.26 grams is equal to 95,260 milligrams can you convert the given units of mass you have to convert 25 kilograms into grams and convert 12.5 grams into milligrams so good luck and thank you